Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play UFO Extraterrestrials. We have shot down a cruiser, and now we are going to... Oh, we're sort of in the corner here. We're going to, hello there, kill it. Well, not the cruiser, but the aliens. And we've brought some chemo guns, which are interesting. They only have one shot, hmm, it's not great. I want to see what they do, but, yeah. Oh, there's another one there. Hello. That would be cool for a chemo gun person. Let me let me try doing that. I want to see what they do. Oh, you can't get past them. Come on, Felix. You're the first person to try the chemo gun thingy. Oh, there's another one. Let's try it. Yeah. Bye. Oh. And that is quite nice. That killed it in one go. Quite nice for um, close combat, I guess. Uh, dragon over there didn't really get hurt at all. So let's just kill this thing. Nice. Unfortunately, you know, it doesn't have auto shot or anything like that, so it takes quite a bit um, to shoot. But again, it's actually an area of effect, it seems. Hopefully. Of course, it's not many times that you have things uh, bunched up. I mean, aliens bunched up. But if... Oh, crap. There's a thing over there. But if they actually use reaction fire with that thing, that would be pretty cool. Indeed. Hmm. Can I actually hit this thing from here? Doubtful. No line of fire. Hmm. Well, let's get more people over here. So they will hopefully do a reaction fire. Hello? Anyone here? No. Apparently not. Mr. L Ninja, you've got one of these chemo guns. And Furious George is gonna go here. What? Come on. <clears throat> right, Corporal Caputum. That's a lot of heavies. Let's have some people over here as well. And Dragon can go that way. And Felix is here just like, ah, oh, this is so beautiful. Let's go. End the turn! Hello. Nice. Excellent, and it's, it's an auto shot. Excellent. Exactly what I was hoping for. Ah, hello. You are going to die. Do you know? Let's do that. Auto shots, 95. And he dies in one shot anyway, so never mind that. The doors are very uh, resistant to... Oh, never mind, I take that back. They got destroyed by two shots. Ooh, that is very alien-esque. Well, alien movie-esque. Well, let's go inside and find out what's there. Myrex Terek. What is this place? Ooh, some kind of a military installation. Or maybe fa military factory for producing... Uh, whoa, look at that buggy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hide over here for now. Furious George. Can you get over here and still shoot? Probably, right? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Do a snapshot. Ah, oh, that's a shame. And you need one more AP to be able to shoot him again. That's a big shame. Yeah, hopefully no aliens here. Well, Alex the Greater is gonna get that kill then, I guess. Let's do that shot. 99 with a snapshot, that's pretty awesome. Bye! He had grenades, so he was a nasty fellow. Not very nice. Wouldn't invite him to tea and biscuits at all. So. Mr. Cam Gun, George Mellons. It's, uh, you're, you're best suited for close quarters, so... Let's go over here somewhere. I wonder if you can actually destroy, uh... Oh. If you can actually destroy walls with a Cam Gun. Probably not. And if indeed you cannot... Oh, sorry. George Mellon does, does not have a Cam Gun. Mr. El, El Ninja has. And if you indeed cannot do that, then that pretty much sucks. Because uh, then it's much worse than the laser weapons. Of course, it has a lot more power 
Ugh. That actually looks pretty spooky. I'll give it that. Um, right. No line of fire. But yeah, I mean, you can't go through walls or anything. Yes, it's got a lot much, much more power. But that doesn't really uh, offset the really low range, does it? So, eh, not impressed. But oh well. Let's just finish off these aliens. Okay, my Rexteric. That buggy is crazy, man. Far out, man. Huh, there's more of this place. Hello? Yeah, hmm. Having aliens here with all these rockets, explosive rockets about, does not seem like a very safe thing to... Is this a door? Yes, it is. Hmm. No one here. And no one here. And we can go through here. That's pretty nice. So, dragon. Let's go find out that bloody... There's the UFO. But there is an alien in there. Kill it. <laughs> no line of fire. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Furious George. We need more people over there, definitely. Mr. L Ninja does not need to go in here. Actually, wait. Can you shoot through? Oh yeah, not with that thing. No line of fire. Yeah, no kidding. Sucks. Yeah, you have to go all the way around. If you had a laser weapon, you could just shoot and make a hole here. But no, you can't do that. George Mellons, however, does have a laser weapon. So, fortunately, if he... There you go. See how nice that is? And now we can go straight to the alien and shoot it in the face. Felix, um, this way. We're gonna go to the UFO. Alex the Greatar as well. Jezdemol as well. And that's pretty much it. What's Corporal Kaputum doing here? Let's go. And the turn. Okay, more doors opening. Ah. Where did they see him from? Hello. How are you today? Well, he's come to die, apparently. And he likes... Let, let's see what the range on this is. Apparently... Loads of range. Eh, not bad. Not bad. I'm still gonna reserve my judgment until I have a few more... combat results. What the hell? Oh, it's one of those things. It's a hole, but there's a computer right next to it, so... You can't really see inside. Uh, let's go check inside here. Furious George. That might have been another uh, alien, but I kind of doubt. It's, it was probably this one. What? It was this one. Yeah. Mr. L Ninja. Where the hell is the entrance, then? Is it on this side? Well, it's certainly... There is a new entrance on this side. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's go there, then. Felix. Alex the Greatar, that's a lot of people going through the UFO. Myrix. You were attacked by that thing from here somewhere. What's over here? Can you destroy this? Ah, bloody hell. Haven't actually, actually checked this room. Should have done that, I guess. Jezdemo. Let's go over there. Dragon 7, uh, can go over here as well, I guess. Although someone w someone will need to check that area as well. Right. One of those big things is gonna come outside now, isn't it? Again, he's the one being psionically attacked. Hmm. Now hunt them down. Mr. L Ninja. Oh, hello. So let's see, what's the range on this thing? Out of range. Yeah, how about you tell me what the range is? Out of range. No, no, ah, for Pete's sake, the bloody UI. Well, this is out of range. That's, that's for sure. How about this? Yep, okay. So, actually, range isn't that bad. But again, 
it's nothing compared to normal weapons, which can kill something technically on the other side of the map if you have vision of it and a soldier with sufficiently high aiming. So, eh. uh, why can't you move? Because Alex the Great Art is in the way, apparently. Anyone here? No, this is the birth. So we're just gonna go over here for now. Jazz them all. Uh, where to go? Over here for now. Marek Sterik. Let's go over here. Ah, there it is! I knew it must have been here somewhere. Kill it! Nice. Yeah, this guy was the one doing all those nasty, nasty side thingies. Not anymore, though. Not no more! Oh. What about these doors? Yeah, this this place with these red um, lights and such really gives me a alien-esque movies vibe. It's pretty cool. I like it. Okay. Let's have more people go in there. And dragon. Hopefully they will do some reaction fire if some of the aliens do arrive there. Nothing over here. No holes, unfortunately, to poke our heads through and see if there's any aliens there. End the turn. Oh, someone's shooting. What the hell's going on? I don't see it. Whoa, whoa! Oh, what the hell? And Felix didn't get hit at all. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. Die. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go up, George Mellons. Oh, can't go up here? Oh, yes, we can. What's up there? Oh, it's just... Oh, and there's a dead guy over here. So it's just the control room. That's pretty cool, actually. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Um... So we've pretty much checked everything except this place. I'm just gonna do that. Oh, great. Well, let's go through here then. Uh, well, that didn't really do anything, but we've killed all the aliens anyway. Alex the Great R is now a sergeant. Yeah, not a great fan of um, those chemo guns. Or chem guns, but meh. So what are we making? More chemo gun ammo. Yeah, just cancel production. Keep making the advanced med kits. There we go. Phosphorus grenade. Let's see. We've adapted previous generation incendiary grenade technology to create a powerful weapon suitable for use against our alien foes. This incendiary technology is based on 20th century technology. It contains <laughs> mixture of white phosphorus and other chemicals which is extremely flammable on contact with the air. Upon detonation, the incendiary, uh, incendiary grenade creates a jet of fiery death in a significant radius. Take care when using this weapon as it will often ignite anything flammable in the area. Eh. And the only thing that's left now is the advanced cannon and then the mine shield. Unless they lead to something else as well. Sucks, I need some live aliens. Laser defense is completed. Sorry, I need live, um... Commanders. Let's put some laser defenses here as well. Laser defense. Well, how's the research? There we go. This weapon is a single-barrel, gas-operated aircraft gun. It fires a substantially harder-hitting projectile, more than twice the weight of the Canon CX-100 23mm shell. The advanced cannon requires a muzzle brake with an integrated flame damper to prevent airframe damage from resulting due to its firing. Um, compared to the normal cannon, it's got more damage, but compared to the laser cannon, yeah, it's inferior, so... Never mind that. Tank cannon. Okay, but we're gonna do this stuff first. We're gonna finally finish the mind shield. Even though we really didn't have many problems with psionics so far. So, oh, that was quick. Bloody hell. 
We have determined that some alien species have psionic abilities. Their brains can em emit high amplitude electromagnetic impulses. These impulses can control life forms in the me immediate area. The impulses can directly influence human nervous systems. Once the impulse hits human nervous tissue, the impulse is led by the nervous system to muscle, where it causes a muscle to contract. The victim is immediately stunned, unable to move until the spasm fades away. Impulse. There's not enough, enough impulse in here. Although the full extent of alien psionic ability hasn't been researched, some important aspects of each psionic attack have been revealed. The psionic attack seems to lose their intensity in inverse proportion to distance. The intensity of the impulse also is dependent on the physical condition of the alien. Our testing has revealed that the intensity of the impulses can be lowered by an alloy of wolfram and iridium. To defend against psionic attacks, we have created mind shields, MS-1, constructed of this alloy, and they seem to be resistant to all but the highest level of psionic impulses. All field soldiers are strongly urged to carry one of these in their combat loadout in case of psionic attack. Anything else? Nope, just the tank cannon. Brilliant. So I will have a lot of scientists doing nothing. I need those live aliens. Damn. Another cruiser. You know what? I'm gonna try- oh wait, that's Patria. I'm gonna try knocking out everything over here. Oh, I didn't leave behind a crash site. I'm gonna try knocking out everything in the next uh, UFO instead of killing. The CT-8 is a heavy combat tank. CAV engineers have constructed it to support CAV ground assault forces. It destroys sturdy targets, enemy discs, what? And buildings with the great power of its two magnetic cannons. Thanks to a caterpillar chassis, it can be used in rough and adverse terrain, as well as open terrain. Relatively short cannon barrels enable the tank to turn the turret and maneuver in cramped spaces. For example, inside larger... <laughs> inside larger buildings, or even inside larger UFOs. The CT-8 is powered by a first-rate DT-510 engine with low heat emissions. For maximum firepower, the CT-8 is equipped with dual magnetic cannons. This powerful tank is covered with laminated armor made of ultra-solid ceramic plates that protect it from the effect of most alien weapons. However, on the battlefield, it turned out that the alien heavy weapons can destroy the CT-8 despite its advanced armor. Okay, fire hammer, ship rocket. Ah, finally something useful for uh, our interceptors. There we go. Another cruiser. And it's going fast. Where is it going? If it's going away from Peloponnesia... Uh, it's going away from Peloponnesia, but... No. Both of them. Go. A fighter. It might... Oh. There's one. Oh, there's three now. Yeah, get that one. Another scout. Jeez. Everything's coming out. Another cruiser. Oh, bloody hell. Fine. We have a lot of stuff going on. No, those are fine. Well, actually, those have already taken it out. And where are those guys? Storm 1 and Storm 6. Let's go for this guy over here. Good. What's going on over here? What's going on over here? Jeez. You go away. Oh, bloody hell. Just in time. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Fair enough. Get it. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so that was a cruiser, right? Oh no, it's a fighter. Eh, never mind. Gonna get it anyway. There. And those chemical weapons... Eh, I'll keep them for now, I guess. Oh, why is Wolfus without any armor? What? That's odd. Oh, Scott Nilsson is here, okay. Everyone else has armor, right? I need some better armor. Alright, let's launch. Begin the mission. 
And we are going to do this mission next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.